Yo, what's up guys? It's been a good while that I actually made a guide for a dungeon team. Well, I'm not sure if this is technically a guide or just showing a team because, well, I'm going to show how you can make it. But to be honest, for anyone that's going to put it in the comments like, oh, I can never make this team. No, I can never make this team. Yes, you're probably not going to be able to make this team. This is not free to play friendly. This is not what I recommend to run. I put a link in the description for a team that I recommend to run. That's a lot easier to run than this. I do not recommend to run this because most people cannot run this because this is a crazy team. So let's see what this craziness is about. We got Tricarus, we got a Julie, and we got a Lucas. 25 attack lead, one shotting the wave. And then there's always going to be one of those two people is like, but why don't you just use Lucian? It's like, Ugh. Lucian is a derpy AI unit. Julie always uses her S3, so it's always better to go for consistency over random shit. So therefore you have to have something that does its skills all the time, which makes it a lot better. Therefore Julie is a lot better than Lucian. But is it easy to uh, ruin a Julie like this? No, <laughs> no, not at all, not at all. So average of this team is about like 31, 32 seconds right now. Thing is, my Lucas is completely not scaled up. It literally has one skill up. I tried it with Ryan before. Ryan actually has about the same average with a non-skilled up Lucas. Big th uh, difference between a Ryan or a Lucas is Ryan actually has 33 leads of attack, which is just his water brother. This thing has a 25 lead of attack. What makes the big difference? Well, literally, it's one fight set. If I remove one fight set of any of those units here, my Julie is not going to one-shot. That's how close it is. That's legit how close this is. So it's very, very close. So we're getting 33 seconds. Let me show you a run. Let's see if we can get a run where we have the good rotation of good team-ups. And Lucas doing his S2 below 50% HP, gets another turn, kills the boss. And then it goes for the second round. Let's see if that happens here. Well, not for this one, but with the final one. Let's see if it happens. S2, thank you. S1, yeah. If I would do a little bit more damage, just a little bit more damage, this would have been fine. So, that's the issue. Sometimes it happens. It just really depends what kind of team-ups you have. Because some team-ups, they do more damage. Some team-ups make it uh, that the Tricaris have their skills up later. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada. You know what it works. Okay. Let's look at the units first. Let's look at the Lucas first. So, Lucas right now is... It has a fight set. It has an accuracy set. Because I'm lacking some accuracy you need. If I'm not mistaken, uh, the boss has 60 or 70 resistance. So, you need... 55 or you know, yeah pretty much 55 or you need 45 accuracy so if it's 60 then you need 45 if it's 70 you need 55 to always land as much as possible with the 50 percent checker always so i do need this accuracy set to make it consistent i have one ikaro that's like pretty low on x so that's the main reason i have this and then for artifacts uh additional damage on dark and that kind of stuff but the main issue is this thing does not have skill ups i could literally improve skill one by 35 percent damage and skill two currently by 25 percent damage and i think the cool time increasing effect or the cool time doesn't really matter too much because the drukarus make sure that he pretty much has his s2 up always anyways so there's some improvement in this unit and then this is just broken for well extra damage and these are the runes individually so then let's look at the Tricarus. How many fight sets do you need for this? We have what? Well, let's go from weak Tricaru to a good Tricaru. So this is one of my weaker Tricarus. This is a pretty standard Tricaru. It has a guard set because I couldn't make it. I preferably had this with an accuracy set, accuracy fight, or a triple fight. But I cannot make that. I'm literally like one rune away from having that to work because i have this rune which would be really nice then i would need a, a similar uh, fight rune on this slot and a similar fight rune with like 34 stats on this slot then it would actually work out but i don't have those yet 
So the moment I get those, I can put like uh, fight sets there. And I also have a pretty good one here. So this would increase like pretty much all stats except HP, but you don't need it. And then if I can replace the two guard runes by a uh, fight set, which technically doesn't matter if there's no guard, as long as they have the same amount of defense as those two runes, which I currently don't have, which I would have if I could clone runes. Let's say I would be able to clone runes. Then I could do uh, this thing and this thing. Does lack in speed. I do need the speed to be at least 153 on those units. Lucas has to be 152. And Julia has to be a little bit faster than all of them. So if this was fast enough, I could grind here and there. It would be nice. But currently, I got to work with what I have. Second, Ikaru is shield. You do need a shield set. Otherwise, Julie is not going to like, be enough HP to actually... I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is like that. And otherwise, this shield set is 42 at 40 defense anyways. So it's not that easy to <laughs> to put something else on it. So even if shield doesn't matter, I didn't test. I think you need one shield set. Otherwise, Julie needs max HP, of course, to land her as or to always do her as 3. But in this case, well, this just works out. 33 X, still decent amount of X, so that's doable. And then the real Gucci Chikaru, which is triple fight, lots of accuracy, decent amount of crit rate, decent amount of crit damage, not that much attack, but it is triple fight and has enough speed. So this one is pretty, pretty dope. So in total, we have seven fight sets on the Tricarus. We have another fight set and an accuracy set on the Lucas. And all of that is needed if I remove one fight set, my Julie is not going to one shot. So let me show you the Julie, how she wants shots, why she wants shots. So first of all, something you guys are probably not interested in, but I think it's pretty impressive. We have a 15% damage from attack here, plus 5 damage on dark. Yes, that one is actually needed. And 13% damage from attack here, plus 3 crit damage. That additional damage from attack with that many fight sets with a, uh, with an attack lead, everything, it really stacks up and it does a lot more damage. Good example I can give for example is that this, uh, where is it? We have a damage on dark. I used to use this. This 19% damage on dark does less damage than this 15% damage uh, from attack. Even when the 5% damage on dark was not there yet. Because I switched that out later. But... 15% damage from attack beats it on Julie, beats the 90% damage on Dark. Okay, so you have all of that. You have the 8 fight sets. You have like good artifacts, everything. What kind of Julie do you need? You need 2400 attack Julie and 232 crit damage Julie or like a mixture of what something high or something lower. But main thing is you want to actually aim for as high attack as possible because of the multipliers. On attack and then you get your uh, additional damage from attack that makes it just enough to make this julie one shot so le let's look at a few more runs the runs just finished 32 second average fastest was 27 seconds i think it could be faster both of them at the moment i'm 100 sure it's going to be faster if i uh, max skill the lucas so yeah, that's just what it is. Also, all of these skins, except for the Lucas, I'm not sure yet, but all of these skins are the fastest skins possible. So, Lucas might have a faster skin in some other skin. I don't know on which it is. I didn't test that. But, yeah, as you can see, if Lucas actually would have done S2, he would have S2 uh, in S3 and he would have hella killed the thing. So, that is it. That's what it does. So, yeah, if you were ever interested in uh, making a faster Necro team or seeing like the max potential of a Necro team, I guess this is pretty much max potential. I was actually thinking about using uh, Julie plus Sophia, like double Sophia maybe even, because they also have perfect AI. They hit five times on their S3 and it armor breaks. So, if you pair that up with a unit that would then one-shot it, so let's say you would go... Uh, Lucas, uh, Julie, uh, Double Sophia plus uh, Shazam maybe? Or not Shazam? Shaman? I think it's called Shaman, the bird. That one would do a lot of damage. I think the bird would actually maybe be better than Trikaru if you use like Double Ikaru and then the bird. But I don't have the bird 2-8 so I cannot test that. Um, 
I might do it somewhere in the future. I'm not sure yet. Also, the moment I will get my Lucas on max guild, I'm gonna make this video just show it or something. I don't know. Um, and then there's one more thing I want to show you, which is... Okay, we have a really good um, Julie right now. How good would she do in Dragons? Is this Julie with 8 fight sets, 25% attack leave enough to one-shot the crystals in Dragons? Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, so let's go for it. Not even close. Legit, not even close. This is legit. I've been testing a lot with fight sets and that kind of stuff, like adding one fight set, removing one fight set. This is at least three to four fight sets away from doing enough damage. Technically, I would have to have 12 fight sets, so every unit on fight, plus maybe a 33 lead, to do enough damage for this. So, yeah, I guess that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Then let's see just for the sake of it, would it be enough to actually kill the boss with these kind of units? Like, as we kill Necro as well. Let's see. Kind of depends on the team ups, of course, but we do a decent amount of damage. Too bad that the Lucas do uh, passive doesn't work on uh, the team ups. Would have been better if it actually did, but that apparently doesn't work. It only works on his own turn. But he does get the attack buff on his own turn. So the passive is he gets a shield and he gets more damage based on that shield. So let's see how much damage we can do on this thing. I do miss some resistance or some accuracy because this thing actually requires me more accuracy. But as you can see, we're not even close to doing enough damage on this thing. So we can actually strip. Uh -huh, we can strip like that. That's pretty funny. But then Julie would also need more accuracy, which she doesn't have. But I'm not even sure if I can clear it like this. Can we clear it? We're getting kind of close. We are getting kind of close. Man, without armor break, that thing does no damage whatsoever. <laughs> okay, we're getting kind of close. But yeah, this team is not really working. Would Ryan work better here? Yes, of course. So... That's just something I wanted to show you guys today, my new Necro team, I've been farming Necro for a well, day or two. And most of the time, actually, when I switch from, like like I always said, like I switch from dungeon to dungeon, I put my best farming runes on that dungeon team at that time. I farm that for X amount of time, could be a week, could be two weeks, could be a month, could be two months. And then I switch, so most of these videos are actually produced like right after I switch. I test out a new team, I do some theory crafting, I think like, okay, what kind of units would I use here, what kind of things would I do, we didn't let armor breaks there, which is kind of shit, but I think we still managed to kill it, yep, oh well, man, this team is pretty good, i never seen this team fail, also important to say, so yeah, that's most of the time where my crafting teams, from, or like my new crafted teams come from, and where I show them as a video, and yeah, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed don't feel discouraged if you cannot replicate this team, this Julie. I put a few other links in the description of easier to make teams for the MB12. MB12 is actually not that difficult of a dungeon if you have Tricarus and you just add Tricarus, you add a Red Oak and you add an Astar. That's mostly the easiest way to go. You could even go Tricaru with double Red Oak. I think it would work. I'm pretty sure it would work. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.